the Cannes Film Festival has drawn to a close in southern France. The event managed to gather a large number of film stars despite the pandemic. More in this report. The world's biggest film festival returned to the French Riviera after 2020 hiatus due to the coronavirus pandemic and one of the most unpredictable contests in years. To attain a wildly imaginative film about a serial killer by French director Julia Ducournau won the top Palme d'Or prize at the Cannes Film Festival. Other big winners included Leos Carrex, picked as the best director for Annette, a musical about two artists caught in a twisted love affair. Hamaguchi Raisuki and Taka Musa, Oi of Japan, won the best screenplay for their tale of heartbreak and loss, Drive My Car. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. Regarding the prize for best screenplay, first I need to thank the author of the source material, Haruki Murakami. Renee Reinsev won the Best Actress for her role in The Worst Person in the World by Joe Shimtier, a modern-day romantic comedy that was a big hit with the critics. Caleb Landry-Jones, who played the role of a mass murderer in an Australian film, Nitram, won the Best Actor and was speechless on stage. I think I'm going to throw up. I'm sorry. Uh, thank you to the jury. <laughs> thank you, Justin. <laughs> I cannot do this. I'm so sorry. I, I cannot do this. Thank, thank you so much. The jury prize, another runner-up award for the best movie, went to two films. The Dov Lopez searing look into artistic freedoms in Israel in Ahid's Knee and a cryptic meditative drama Memoria by Thailand's Apicha Pong, Virese Takul. Italian director Marco Bello Show, 81, was given an honorary Palme d'Or. A young Chinese director, Tang Yi, 32, won the Palme d'Or for Best Short Film with All the Crows in the World.